time. The next thing we're going to do is a trunk stability, stability push up. So we're going to have Steve get down on the floor. All the way down, we're going to start from the bottom position of the push up, keeping his, his elbows in tight to his body, his hands should be directly below his shoulders. Then we're going to have him push away from the floor. All right, so that looks like a good push up. I'm going to then have him proceed to do a couple more push ups with the eccentric motion. We're, we're, we wanna, we're, we're checking to make sure he can maintain good posture all the way through his range of motion. Um, the first thing we're going to look for on our push-up though is can they move themselves off the floor? If they cannot move themselves off the floor um, effectively, then the first thing we're going to do is have them go out on their toes and have uh, start an eccentric push-up or a negative push-up. We're going to do about a four count. One, two, three, four. All right. I'm going to have them get back up however it takes them to get back up and continue to do negative push-ups. Encouraging good form. Keep your head a little bit higher for me, Steve. And we'll do a few reps and we'll rest between sets, obviously. Uh, from there, if they can't quite control their eccentric, go ahead, Steve, fall to the floor. All right, they can't control that, I'm going to backpack them. So I'm going to put a band around their waist, and I'm going to give them support. So now go ahead and do a control. Come back up there. Good. So I'm providing the assistance to help keep their hips up, and take some weight off of them. Right? If they still can't, I can't help them get out of that, I'm just going to go to a knee. Have them do knee push-ups. Again, encourage them to keep their hips low and their hands below their shoulders. Right? So we're not flaring our way out. Their elbows aren't coming out, Steve. Go ahead and do the wrong. They go way too wide. All right? We're keeping everything nice and tight. All right? From there, uh, most gyms will have a Smith rack. For the purpose, we're going to use boxes. Just an elevated push-up. Again, encouraging that nice straight uh, spine, good posture, and going through range of motion training. All right. All right. The second thing we're going to look at is where their hands are placed next to their push ups. Steve. We want their hands directly under their shoulders. And as they go down, we want their, we want their elbows next to their sides. We don't want them bowing out. Many people will oftentimes put their hands way too wide and their, hands, or their elbows come way out from their body. We don't want to do this, but what many times we'll have to do is just automatically repress them. So we'll take them automatically into a negative push-up, have them go down for a three or four count, and come up however they need to. Go ahead and do one more. All right. Second thing we'll do is backpack them, as we did have, as we've done before. So I'll put a band below their waist. And I'm going to give them a little bit of assistance through their push-up, encouraging them through coaching cues to keep their elbows pulled back next to their sides. All right. From there, if they still can't quite get it, we'll put them down to a, a knee, uh, knee push-up. If needed, we can backpack this. And if they can't, they'll go over to a Smith machine, which again, we use a box today. And have them encourage them to bring their chest down to the bar or to the corner of the box. We're going to bring them to the bottom of their chest. The third thing we're looking at is whether their hips are staying where we want them to be and keeping their spine in alignment. Uh, many people will drop their hips to their push-up and leave their hips to the ground. Uh, not allowing them to go through full range of motion. So what we want to do first with this is activate their abs. And what we're going to do here is have them come to his elbows and do a plank squeeze, driving his elbows through his toes, uh, consistently contracting his, his abdominals. If he gets done with this, go right back up to a push-up, see, see if he can achieve a good push-up. If he's still not, then we can go into our, into our regression. So the first thing I'm going to do is again, backpack it, holding his hips up, and now I have to do a push-up. So now I'm going to give him even more than I have in the past to help him keep those hips up. From there, if, we're, if, he, if he's still sinking, go ahead and sink down into it. No, sink your hips. There you go. If he's really pushing with his hips, then I'll have to go to his knees. Like right? go to your knees, keeping his hips low, going through full range of motion. From there, uh, if, we, if we still can't do anything, we're going to do a plank up. We're going to drive up with one elbow, one arm at a time. Alright, from there we go over to the Smith again, or the box. And do that regression. Okay, so if our client cannot achieve a regular push-up, we put them on their knees. And if they can't achieve a knee push-up with the correct form, so they can go down partially, but they can't, uh, once they hit a certain point, they collapse for it. They just don't, they, we can't get them going all the way because they're not confident in their, in their abilities. Right? We have to start regressing them. So first thing we're going to do is have them go through a negative push-up. Encourage them to hold tension as long as possible before they collapse. If they can't do a negative push-up, go ahead and fail. All right? We're going to come back up, and we're going to backpack them again. This time a little bit higher. Go ahead. Again, 
Virgin knee push up, be nice and tight. Right. From there, if, they, if they're still having trouble, we will do plank ups again. This wouldn't be a bad one to put in no matter what, just to help uh, stabilize their core. And from there, we'll have them kick up their toes, even though they're, they're failing on their uh, knees. Go a little bit higher, maybe. Actually, Steve, come up a little bit. Come up for one time. If we're using box, we can turn it off a little bit higher elevation. We'll bring the Smith racket to a higher elevation. We'll do Smith racket push ups. The fifth thing we're going to look at uh, during our push up is whether or not they can, they can stabilize their upper back to their push up. So as they start, we don't want to see this collapse on automatic before they start to actually do their push up. So the first thing we're going to have them do is uh, activate their chest by doing some, uh, some scat punches. Different than uh, the plank, we're not going from our elbows here. We're going to stay on our hands and push up position, left our chest, and then expand our, expand our chest up and, and pull our shoulder blades apart. All right. From there, activate our chest a little bit further. Do our plyo ball drop. Encourage them to return it as fast as hard as possible. And stretch their upper back. All right, we return to our push up in hopes to see a little bit uh, more, more solid push-up. If they're still failing, we start our regression series. So we go to our knees, go ahead and push. All right. For him, this is where we stop progressing. If they still collapse, then we start doing plank ups. From plank ups, we go to the Smith machine. Good. The last thing we're looking at here in our push-up is whether or not they can keep their hips Again, align and make sure they're not bringing their hips too far up. Bring your hips up. There we go. All right. So here we want to bring your hips back down, and we're going to do that by activating our spinal erectors a little bit more by doing some supermans. Come up for a one count. Have them do two or three sets of ten. Activate the lower back and have them try it again. Good. If they're still not doing it. They may be strong to do a push-up like Steve is. They just might not have a, a good uh, awareness of where their body is in space. So if that's the case, we can turn their TRX and substitute the TRX for our rings today. This is going to force their core to activate and keep them much more in a much stricter push-up. Right. If, if you're not going to also strong enough to do a push-up, then we start progressing this exercise. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is our nice slow negatives. Again, three or four count, maybe up to five to show them if you're going to Going to knee push-ups again. Now here they can still keep their butt up, and you can put your butt up. So we encourage them at this point just to shift their hips forward. Shift them forward. And now we're in the correct position. Alright. We can go into plank ups if needed. We can do plank ups from our toes if, if possible, but we can plank up from toes. If they're capable of doing so. And if they're not, then again we move over to Smith and go into an elevated push-up.